The following program is a Town of Colony television production of the William K. Sanford Town Library. My name is Diane Conroy Lasavita. I'm with Colony Senior Service Centers, and it's really an honor to do another episode of Senior Connections. I'm very fortunate today to have two of my colleagues with me, Elizabeth Latanzio, or Betsy Latanzio, who's the director of our transportation department, as well as Lori Miedema, our director of development. We're here to talk about some of the upcoming exciting programs and services we're gonna be offering through Colony Senior Service Centers in the first half of 2019. I'd like to start with Betsy, and I want to talk about transportation transportation. You know, what is the transportation that we provide through our nonprofit? Who's eligible and how do you sign up? So Betsy, can you give us a lowdown? Sure, Diane. Um, the transportation is open to seniors in the town of Colony 60 years and above. And uh, we provide trips on a daily basis uh, for dialysis, medical appointments, social adult daycare, um, congregate meal sites. So if you'd like to come and have a lunch at one of our other sites, we can bring you and take you home. Uh, grocery shopping once a week or to the food pantry once a week and pharmacy visits. Now, I outline those things because those are the regulations set forth by the uh, Albany County Office for Aging. And so I just want to make sure that people are clear on that. However, if you do want to go and get your hair cut or something of that nature, we do get funding from the town of Colony to provide those services also. If you're not registered, I just give you a couple of things to think about. You know, have a plan B in mind as you're uh, going through the winter months. Are you going to be able to get out to the grocery store? Are you going to be able to get to your medical appointment knowing what the weather might be? We ask you to book a trip three days in advance and that way we are able to schedule you in for transportation. We pick you up at your door, we bring you to wherever you need to go, drop you at the door so you're not fighting to find a parking spot in a doctor's office mm -hmm. or something of that nature. And then when your appointment is finished, we come back and pick you up and bring you home. So if you're having your eyes dilated or something of that nature and you know that you have no transportation home, it's very difficult sometimes, even though they give you those nice glasses, <laughs> it's difficult to be able to navigate your way home. So that is an option for you to have our transportation bring you bring you home. Uh, we also, uh, I, I like people to think about, what about those medical procedures that, you know what, it may take me a couple hours and I really get tired out, so do I want to uh, drive myself home? Why are you going to put yourself through that? We need to make this stress free. So just give us a call three days in advance and we can put you on the schedule, minimum of three days in advance. If you know you have an appointment, call us when you know you have your appointment and we'll get you scheduled right through. Because you can't always depend on maybe your family having time to take you to where you need to go or bring you home. So why not have a plan B and depend on us? If you're not registered with Colony Senior Service, Service Center's transportation, I encourage you to call the office, get a packet. I have highlighted all of the areas that Albany County would like filled out for the uh, registration packets. And so you fill those areas out, send it back to us, we'll get you into the system, send you a welcome letter with a couple of coupons that you can take a ride for free. and try out the transportation isn't that nice that you get a little a little trial and um, then we can you can schedule your rides as you go now the one thing that people are, are concerned about is they do have to renew their registration every year and again that's a regulation that we have to follow through Albany County Office for the Agent so um, 
we will be sending renewals out if we see that your year is up or coming close to its end. And we ask that you just fill that out, send it back, and we'll get you right back into the system. Not a problem. What we did do is we made up some tickets for people to purchase because our contribution is a $5 voluntary contribution, which is pretty inexpensive uh, to, for a ride. We've made up ticket booklets that you can purchase at the office at Beltrone Living Center, Colony Senior Service Centers. And uh, the, the booklets are $25 for five coupons. So you don't have to be filled with money. Do I have the money? Do I have the change? And this is what they look like. So you just tear it off and you put it in the envelope and that would be your contribution. So it's, it's a fairly smooth process, and we encourage as many people to sign up as possible. We do quite a number of medical rides, and it really, it really works out. So. Thank you. So now you said call the office. What is that number? Okay, that number is area code 518-459-2857, extension 301. And that would be for me. Now if you want to schedule a ride, you can call 518 Four five nine six zero six four, and you would get our dispatcher, and he would schedule a ride for you. Now, if someone has trouble filling out that application, can they give you a call? Absolutely, absolutely. I have people that come in, and I sit with them, and we fill out the application. Or people over the phone have questions about the application. I'd be more than happy to accommodate any questions and and help anyone fill out the application. So the only prerequisite to sign up or register is you need to be 60 years of age, correct? And a resident of the town of Colony. Okay. And a resident of the town of correct. Colony. Correct, yeah. So it doesn't matter what your income is? No, not at all. It doesn't matter what your medical situation is? Not at all. We have handicap accessible buses with wheelchair lifts. Uh, we can accommodate people in any, any uh, situation. And we will help them. If you need someone to go with you, we will schedule a bus aid to go with you to your appointment if necessary and then home from your appointment. So we, we try to be very accommodating for everyone's needs. You know, if you think about it, we've been doing transportation as part of our organization since 1984. Wow. What a tremendous resource for this community. And so many don't know about it. I know. I know. And that's why this month of January I'm trying to uh, present at every senior club meeting so that I can let people know about our transportation that is available and uh, hopefully you know they will think about that plan B and and not have to depend on family that may not be able to help them out or if the weather gets bad and they'll have transportation set up and, and all you have to do is give us a call. Can you share approximately annually how many rides are we having? We are close to 20,000 rides per year. Wow. A little bit more for last year. Okay. But there are some days where over a hundred rides a day and uh, our drivers are great. Okay. We have a wonderful team, very compassionate, very caring. They take care of, of the people, help them on and off the bus if you need. Not a problem at all. So we, it's a, I'm very happy to be working with this okay. group, this group of people and um, you know, they're just so accommodating to our seniors. That's great. It's very touching. Yeah. I, I have to give uh, Betsy a plug. Our transportation team currently has 28 people in that department. Yes. Most of them are retired, work part-time, are incredibly dedicated. They're dedicated to helping seniors and to the mission of Colony Senior Service Centers. I have a saying, speed of the leader, speed of the team. you got a great team going. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Thank you. Thank so you. any questions, again, feel free to give us a call. Yeah. 518-459. 2857 extension 301. Thank you. You know, one of the things you mentioned was the congregate lunch, and I think we should touch upon that. Yes. So currently, the Colony Senior Service Centers offers six locations for congregate lunch. Some of them daily, some maybe weekly, some maybe just once a month. But if you call Betsy or our food coordinator at Colony Senior Service Centers, you can find out about that. And that also requires the registration. It's just you need to be of 60 age or older to qualify. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank and, you. And again, 
you know, um, we will keep track of your renewal, send that out to you when your time has come up. So just so that people are aware that we're not going to drop you from the system. We're just going to keep you going on in case you need that ride. Pretty painless. Yes, very yeah, painless. There you go. <laughs> very, very painless. Wonderful. So. Yeah. You know, we do all sorts of activities during the day, at night, for the community, for our members, our residents, the senior clubs that Betsy had mentioned. One of the, our upcoming events is called Warmth of Winter. It's an annual event. This is our 18th annual, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I'd like our Director of Development, Lori Miedema, to tell us about that. Thanks, Diane. So Warmth of Winter is coming up again, and it is. Uh, February 28th mm -hmm. from 5.30 to 8.30 over at Wolford's Roost. It is an exciting evening of a wine tasting, craft beer tasting, silent and live auctions. Um, it's a, a great mingling, uh, team building type of event as well if you want to come over with your company. Um, but uh, individuals are more than welcome to join us as well. It's just a fun event and the purpose of the event is to raise money for our umbrella program to, to help uh, defray some of the costs seniors find in heating their homes, especially low and moderate income individuals who have um, some need some assistance in the winter time uh, to help with that heating cost. I know it hasn't been that cold yet, but it's coming. So we uh, we all know it's coming, and uh, so it's a great event. We're lucky this year. Andrea Crisofoli is come on as our event chair, um, so they're sponsoring the event. Um, Capcom has uh, been Paula has been. Uh, so great in the event over the years and they've agreed to stay on as a major sponsor of the event as well as Equinox companies, um, Boucher and Clark, Goldstein Auto Groups on, CBRE Albany's on, Janitronics has come on. So it, there's a great array of sponsors who've come on to the event to support um, our local seniors as well. So we're really very excited about it. One of the great parts of this event is the silent and live auction. Uh, Benita Zahn has agreed to come back from Channel 13 to MCR Live Auction, so we're really excited about that. We have some great packages coming in. Just to tease you a little bit is uh, Mirror Lake Inn is offering a two-night stay with breakfast. Uh, Exit 9 Wine and Liquor has donated uh, Pappy Van Winkle 23-year-old bourbon, uh, which is huge. Um, as a bourbon drinker, I'm very excited about that. We have an array of sports tickets coming in, Paw Patrol tickets for all the families um, who might want to come in, concert tickets coming in, um, and just a vast array of, of great options for people to bid on, all while supporting seniors in our community. That's great. Now, if somebody wanted to learn more information or buy those tickets, how do they do that? They can always call me, but I also, 518-459-2857, um, uh, uh, um, I'm extension 304, um, but I always encourage people to go to our website. There's great information on our website, um, Warmth of Winter being one of them, and our, we have a fantastic fantastic new website. Um, so it's www.colonyseniors.org. Um, so there's lots of information there, not only about uh, all the events that we're doing, but transportation, our dining, um, health and wellness, RSVP volunteering program. So if, if you haven't gone to the website, you definitely want to check it out. But warmth of winter information is definitely there. So. Can they purchase those tickets? We can purchase tickets. Um, we'll be able to purchase tickets. are $65 per person to go to the event. Um, there's also honorary committee. Uh, options available at $125 per person and $200 per couple. And while it is a wine tasting and craft beer, we recognize this is a great event for young professionals. So we do have an option for under 35. So all are listed up on the website. So definitely check it out That's or give me a call. Um, any companies or uh, anyone who wants to sponsor or become an honorary committee member can also just um, get in touch with me. Um, but again, the best way to find it is to go to our website, colonyseniors.org. Great. Yeah. You know, you, you made a good point, and the proceeds of this event go right back out into the community. Right. And so last year, I know we helped about 200 seniors in our community mm -hmm. who needed assistance paying their heating bills. Right. Now, I don't think people realize that oftentimes people are making choices between heating their home or medication right. or medication or food. Correct. I mean, it, it, mm -hmm. it's very humbling some of the situations we sometimes are confronted with. It really is. And the other thing is, is if somebody's heating units go down in the winter, we also have been able to assist with that. So through the umbrella program and, and being able to support 
um, our members through that. So, um, so it is. It's just a really uh, an amazing event. It is one that truly, if you want to do the feel good, give back to the community. This is the event to be really involved in uh, because it's a direct line back, and it's to seniors who, you know, they've given for us. So maybe we should be giving back to them. So I think it's a it's a good. It's a good event. It's a good one to be in. Now, you mentioned the umbrella program. Right. Do you mind sharing? So really, the development's doing that in coordination or collaboration, Right. Correct? So we have an umbrella, which is a home maintenance program for low- and middle-income seniors here in um, Colony. Um, so we really want to strive to keep seniors staying um, in the place they want to live for as long as and independently as possible. And one of the drawbacks for seniors sometimes is that the structure that they live in needs work. So uh, as you get older, sometimes Sometimes it's hard to maintain your home. I know I'm getting older and I don't like maintaining my home. Um, so it, um, it allows, we have handy people who will come in um, at a uh, $13 an hour uh, to come in. They're vetted, so they're safe people coming in. There's nobody coming in that might scam you. Um, they'll come in and do simple things, whether it's to change the electric socket or hang, you know, some 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 structures. I mean, you know, like, you know some simple uh, maintenance handyman people thing, handy person, I should say, things um, that need to be done around the home that would allow people to stay in their homes longer than than they might be able to. It keeps them safe. It's important for our seniors to be safe and as independent as possible. Yeah, how many of us in the community might have a parent who's really wanting to stay at home and there's that sense of guilt that you want to make sure your parent is safe exactly. and your time might be tight. Having that umbrella membership really alleviates a little of that stress and you know that your mom or dad or mm -hmm. whomever is truly yes. in good good hands. Absolutely, it's being a caregiver and running and doing yeah. home maintenance on my parents home over the years um, I'm not exactly the most uh, handy person I can do but you know I was scraping a porch ceiling once that and never knew how to do it and repainting it for my folks um, so those are things um, as a care as a senior it's important but also in the sandwich generation it's also nice to be able to take some of that stress off of us so that we can uh, focus a little more on some of the other things that our parents need so it's it's a vital again I think one of the greatest things about Colony Senior Service Centers is that we provide a lot of vital services to maintain our seniors as being independent and, and active and, and aging in place where they'd like to age in place um, as long as possible. And keep in mind, how many seniors have children that live out of town? Well, that, right. Point. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, with that being said, uh, as, a, as a child of a parent who may live in another state, you would have the ability to make sure that they're taken care of and that the repairs are being mm -hmm. done and the house is being maintained. You can even have someone come in and clean your house through the umbrella program. Right. Very, very, they may not do, you know, the detailed cleaning you would get with a, a service. However, they're going to make sure that it's dusted and picked up and there's nothing they can trip over and things of that nature. So that's a peace of mind for uh, children well, and, and that's an excellent point aging it's, parents right my my parents were in western new york so the, my stress was to go home every two to three weeks right. um so yes and in those gaps of time hoping everything was fine so you, that's an excellent point and you know the, they didn't have the opportunities and services that the seniors in colony do so take advantage of what we have to offer it's it's truly uh it's it's truly uh, just such a special thing to have because many seniors don't yeah, you know, and as they get older, maybe mobility issues, mm -hmm. putting in the grab bars. You know, we have some people who are handy people who I call them minimalists, yeah. and, and they'll go in and they'll help somebody get organized. You know, I think yes. all of us have that tendency mm -hmm. of collecting and keeping, exactly. and at some point that might be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I mean, we actually have people who are so talented in, in really helping somebody through that. You know, we are pushing during the holiday time. If you don't know what to get mom or dad or a grandparent or a neighbor or somebody you want to give something to, that umbrella membership is a great gift. It sure is. It sure is. And, you know, it also gives the, the seniors another opportunity to socialize with someone as they come into the home. So we, we all need to remember that. <laughs> yeah, I have, my son is a handy person. He's home from college, uh, you know, during the Christmas break or during the summer. And he'll say, oh, mom, all they want to do is talk. But I said, oftentimes these individuals, although they're staying in their house, that might be their only conversation Correct. for the day. Mm -hmm. And interaction and that socialization and just human to human communication mm -hmm. is so important. 
support. Exactly. So that brings up another point. So we have so many programs that go on, whether it's our lunch and learns or it's uh, we do programs, you know, over at Kingfield Senior Community for, for seniors, you know, call transportation, Absolutely. get a ride over. If you're not signed up for our Senior Connections newsletter, give us a call. Go on the website. I will tell you lots of things that seniors can do um, to, to, to relieve the isolation. Right. Yeah. I mean, so we're, we're plugging the, the website, which is great. The newsletter. The newsletter <laughs> is super. So it comes out once a month and right now goes to about 5,200 local homes. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because they're all anxious to get the ne exactly. next edition. We do a lot of programs where we might have a limit on how many people we can actually have attend. And so, okay, when's the next cooking class or what's mm -hmm. the lunch and learns or, you know, are you doing any field trips, mm -hmm. which transportation allows us sometimes. Yes. We do sacred spaces. Yes, we do. Okay. And we take uh, seniors, they pre-register, and we take them. This month, they're going to St. Nicholas Ukrainian mm -hmm. Church. And, uh, you know, you go through the church with a guide, and they explain, you know, the magnificent uh, things that this church has to offer in the building and the structure. And, and it's just, it's great. It's been taking people every month to a different church in the area, a different uh, denomination and you know there's no age that you stop learning mm -hmm. you know so it's it's incredible the things that people have come back and said I never realized that that was there <laughs> so it's it's a great opportunity and I'll, I'll uh, share a secret I know where we're going in February and that's no. St. Joseph's uh, Catholic Church in South Troy and they had the largest collection of Tiffany windows oh, in the yeah. United States wow. and so and that's a beautiful beautiful. beautiful church yes and so you sign up for transportation and then you can go with us in Absolutely. February to St. Joseph's Church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, we just did Lights in the Park at you know, the end of 2018. Can you share? I mean, that was great. We, uh, we received a small grant to be able to invite the community to participate in Lights in the Park. So our transportation department, people signed up as soon as they heard about it, and our transportation department, uh, we put together eight buses and those buses were filled mm -hmm. you know so it was what almost 200 people that uh -huh. went to lights in the park and uh, everyone had a great time and we brought them back to the Beltrone or we took them back to one of their senior living spaces and um, made sure everyone got home safely. And Lights in the Park is a good point because oftentimes seniors stop driving at night. The glare, Absolutely. the light, they, they're not secure. So to have a small grant that was made available from an Albany County legislator allowed all these people mm -hmm. to have a wonderful holiday, nighttime social experience. experience. Right? Absolutely. It was money well spent. Yes, yeah. it was. No, you're absolutely right. So we've been doing, in 2019, we've initiated some new fundraisers and friend raisers to help help offset or offset, excuse me, the cost of transportation. You know, as Betsy said, we have coupons, but it's it's a donation we ask for. And you actually, there's a little box in the front of our buses where you slip your donation in. It's suggested $5. It's not required, and it's and we're not looking at people. It's done anonymously. Exactly. That being said, we are starting to look at uh, events that the proceeds, similar to Warmth of Winter, mm -hmm. helping seniors with their heating bills, we're going to be doing some programs that will help us maintain our transportation fleet. Currently we have 10 vehicles and you know if you own a car or any type of vehicle it requires gas mm -hmm. and ongoing maintenance. maintenance. And <laughs> the buses go hundreds of miles yes. and so we, we always have to be thinking proactively how do we continue to provide this service the way we're providing it for this community. So do you mind sharing the, the chefs we had in a thought and so we have something brewing on June 10th. June 10th we're doing a chef competition and we have a couple of great chefs that have signed on already and we're still out at, uh, you know entertaining other chefs to sign on. Uh, Yono Pernomo will be one of the chefs that is uh, doing the the competition and um, all of the proceeds for that, it's its almost like the Iron Chef competition. So all of the proceeds for that will be to help maintain transportation. You know, Diane, I, I just want to interject here that I had a question yesterday from a woman who said, 
do you go as far as Clifton Park? We do bring people to their doctor's appointments throughout the capital district. We are not just limited to transporting someone in colony. We go to Albany, Rensselaer, Troy, Schenectady, Saratoga. We are all over the capital district mm -hmm. with appointments and transportation. So that is why, you know, if you don't like driving the Northway or you're not comfortable in the weather, sign up for transportation. And the other thing is, is this is a great gift from one of your kids <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, make sure you have your coupons. Now, and those are available anytime, right? Not anytime. just at the holidays, but we're still anytime. continuing to sell that. Yes. And we call you to get those. Yes, you do. Okay. All right. Great. Yes. So you should think about the chef's competition. The the uh, ticket price for that, we're looking at $75. And as Betsy said, the proceeds of that are going to go right towards transportation. Such a vital, vital program. Now, we have a couple other things coming up uh, in regards to new initiatives or, or tweaked initiatives. Mm -hmm. So we have um, the Rusty Tool throwdown? We do. We have the Rusty Tool throwdown on May 4th in our new toolbox uh, location, which is over up on Route 2, up on in uh, Water of Elite. It's colony, oh, but colony. Yeah, that's Water okay. It is okay. Um, it's new. We get there. We I can drive you there. Um, no. <laughs> Transportation can drive you there. there. You yes. um, so it's great. We uh, work with the uh, Albany Barn and uh, give them a, a bucket full of rusty old tools that we still have, and they come up with some of the most amazing uh, creations and artwork with it. Last year was my first one, and it was fantastic with what I saw. We've been great, and then they've donated them to us, and we have been actually awesome auctioning them off or uh, raffling them off at some of our fundraisers. So uh, it's, it's a great uh, collaboration between the two organizations and uh, just a lot of fun to watch things happen. We also have our fashion show, which is the Friday before Mother's Day. Um, when that comes, that'll be coming out in the next couple months. It'll be on our website. I push the website all the time, but it's definitely going to be there. And um, that will uh, benefit transportation. It usually sells out. So if you're going to want to bring mom to a f great fashion show, uh, get your tickets early um, but just want to let you know the chef competition is June 10th as well it's at the Beltrone um, $75 per ticket it's, uh, it's a brand new uh, event but we're very excited and so are the, a lot of the chefs in the community so um, yeah so, so some of those so great one things. more event before our time comes to a close and it's going to be there March you know. 5th so we do an antiques review if you watch PBS and the antiques roadshow similar to that we have four local antique appraisers and they're going to be coming so if you have something in your closet and your basement in your attic that you think might be of value, come on down to the Beltron. We're going to do it from 9, 11, uh, 9 to 11, excuse me, on March 5th. And for $5, that's the appraisal fee, they'll let you know if it's worth something and if it is, how much. So mark that down as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So on behalf of Colony Senior Service Centers and my colleagues, Betsy Latanzio and Lori Minima, thank you for spending this time with Senior Connections.